Marcos for president. Hindi niya nalalaman na we have something in common. Ayan. Pareho kami nagmamahal sa mga aso! And who is this cutie pie? This is Chewbacca! As in Star Wars, Chewbacca. Ilan taon na siya? Uh, this three. So, mahilig ka talaga sa to? Ay, we've always had to. Ay, we've always had the pets. The, because at uh, one time, we were still very little. When we were in Malacanang, we had something like 36 dogs. What? Yeah, we had the whole kennel. Wow! You were elected governor, congressman, senator, and mabango ka sa surveys sa mga panahon ngayon. So what would you attribute that? Some people say that history was revised online. What, do you, what, what is your response to that? Show me. Show me what is revisionism. From our part, from our side, whatever you want to. Show me. Uh, anything that we have said, we can prove that this actually happened. Uh, that's why when ang kasiyal nangyari talaga dito yung internet, uh, whereas before it was all propaganda uh, na pupuha, pero ngayon marami ng sources na information. So, uh, why did your father do this? Oh, what happened there? Ganun tayo mga, mga, mga ganun na mga tanong. So, sinasagot ko. Pero lagi kong tinatapos, sinasabi ko, huwag lang kayong makikinig sa akin dahil anak ako ni Marcos eh. Di siyempre para sa akin, maganda yung mga ginawa niya. Mag-aral kayo, tingnan ninyo, magbasa kayo ng libro para you come to your own opinion. And that's what I think is happening. What is your response to the question that you are, or if you are your father's son? And of course, I'm of course you are your father's son. But I think what they mean is how much of a president that he was Will you be? Hindi ko siya gagayahin. How do you respond to that? Pag naririnig mo yung diktador, dating diktador, ikaw ba'y diktador? Why should the Filipinos vote for BBM? What are the best things about a BBM presidency? It will be inclusive. It will be constantly in search of excellence. And we will bring a wealth of experience and talent to government. Troll farms? People keep saying that. <laughs> they love to say that. <laughs> troll farms. Troll yeah. farms. Marami silang troll. Mm -hmm. Find me one. That's my challenge. Hanapan mo ako kahit isa na troll. Nakita niyo naman yung sa, yung sa Facebook. Ako lang ang walang gasto sa Facebook kahit, kahit uh, isang sentimo. I don't do that. So to what would you attribute the numbers, the good numbers in the surveys? It's hard to generalize, I suppose. Uh, but uh, again, it is because I think the message that we are putting across, that of uh, unity, uh, kinikilala naman ng mga, ng mga Pilipino na yun talaga ang kailangan. Kung ayaw mo sa akin, hindi tumulong ka ng sarili mo. Pero tum magtulungan na tayo, magkaisa na tayo. At hindi tayo hindi ko sinasabi magkaisa sa politika. Sinasabi magkaisa tayo, pagsundu, pagkasunduan natin, na tayo ay Pilipino. Wala nang tutulong sa Pilipino kundi Pilipino rin. At na pag-uusapan ng pagkakaisa, you have mouth unity. How do you intend for that to happen? Anong uri ng mga tao at an anong kulay ng mga tao ang papaligid sa inyo? Sa inyong pamamahala? Yung magagaling. Yun lang. <laughs> Yung magagaling. Regardless of color. Bas kasi... Pag sinasabi mo, hindi kayo pwede, us or them na naman dito. Ah, dito kami-kami lang. Eh, doon sila, sila, hindi, hindi sila pwede. Ano yun? Hindi naman, hindi naman, walang mangyayari sa atin. Lahat ng tao, siguro dahil sa pandemya sa buong mundo, ay nangangailangan ng tulong. Lahat. You can imagine working with former yellow people? Well, depends who they are. Are they smart? Are they good? Are they hardworking? Are they willing to help? Sure. Kapag kayo po'y palaring manalo, kayo po'y manunumpa sa Saligang Batas uh, ng 1987, and it has been described as a response uh, to what was seen as the excesses of the former constitution of 1973 under your father's administration. So manunumpa po kayo sa kasalukuyan sa Ligang Batas. 
Kayo po ba ay for charter change? Papalitan niyo po ba ang ilang probisyon sa saligang batas na pangkasalukuyan? Maraming pinag-uusapan, yung tinatawag na economic provisions, uh, even the political system, uh, marami, marami na rin pagbabago. Eh, pwede naman siguro natin pag-usapan, pero I don't see it as being a priority. We have this pandemic to deal with. We have this economy that we have to, uh, we have to, rec we have to recover. Hindi na siguro aabot sa charter change. Uh, kung ba, who knows? Baka magkaroon ng, magkaroon ng groundswell. Pero ang groundswell talaga, trabaho, trabaho, trabaho. So probably, but not a priority? Not probably, not a priority. Okay. So what is your response to the question that you are, or if you are your father's son? Well, of course I'm my Of father's. course you are your father's son. <laughs> but I think what they mean is, how much of a president that he was will you be? Uh, my father was elected in 1965. That's a long time ago. Ibang-iba na ang Pilipinas. Ibang-iba na ang mundo. Uh, hindi mo naman pwede sabihin, ay maganda yung ginawa niya noong 1965, gawin din natin yun. Hindi na, hindi na bagay, hindi na relevant. Hindi ko siya gagayahin. Meron siya, maybe in concept, uh, like the vertical integration of the entire agricultural system down to the retail. Yun. That concept, gagayahin natin. We'll do it a different way. Infrastructure, gagayahin natin. Na, lahat naman ng presidente, ginawa yan eh. Kailangan talaga infrastructure, kulang lagi yung infrastructure. Yung, the concept, but we want, hindi, hindi yung gagayahin mo lang yung ginawa dati. It's just a different world. Do you ever think martial law will happen again? I hope not because uh, martial law implies that we are at war. Uh, so, wag na, sana, sana hindi na tayo papasok sa gera. So, diktador, how do you respond to that? Pag naririnig mo yung diktador, dating diktador, ikaw ba'y diktador? Siyempre, <laughs> uh, eh, ang mga nagsasabi nun, yung galit sa tatay ko. So, tinatawag siyang ganun. Uh, so, again, politika yan eh. Maliit pa kami, naintindihan na namin yun eh. Lahat dyan, lahat ng gawin mo sa politika, may magbabati ko sa'yo. Dahil gusto nila, siyang nakaupo dyan eh, hindi ikaw. Kaya uh, sisiraan ka para ilalagay ka dyan kung ano-ano pinagsasabi. Ah, ganun. So, very young, very, I remember I was very young. Media censorship, what are your thoughts? I don't find uh, any reason for uh, what, what you would call censorship. Well, you can't anymore because there's online everywhere. Yeah, but they, I was just going to say, maybe in the online, this the, yung, the, yung pagkalat ng fake news. And some of it's dangerous. Uh, so that, that I think we have to do something, but it's not easy. Yeah, yung mga, but you yung, believe that these troll farms are doing fake news. You have to get to the masterminds of all of those. What's more important to, than that is a paliwanag mo sa tao na hindi totoo yan. Vaccines work. Masks work. Stop telling us that they don't because you're wrong and it's dangerous for you to be doing that. That's my simple example. The whole nature of the internet is it's open. It's open source, tawag nila. So, hindi mo naman pwedeng pigilan where do you, where do you draw the line. That's what we're wrestling with now. This is going to be my last father question. What was the best thing that your father did and what was his worst mistake? Do you ever think about it? The, the, the best thing I still believe, marami siyang ginawa, nakilala ang Pilipinas. But for me, the most important thing that he achieved was to bring a sense of nationhood to our country. For the first time, yata, yata, para sa akin, maybe during the war, World War II, nag, yeah, sinasabi, Pilipino ako. At pinagmamalaki yung pagka-Pilipino niya. Uh, dahil marami yung sa akin, sasabihin, well, pasinggaling lang kami sa inyo. We are as good as any of you. And in, in many cases, we're better. Uh, yung pride to being a Filipino. And that we are one nation. And that we must work together to succeed. And that, I think, was his most important achievement. The worst mistake that he did was probably trusting some of the wrong people. Uh, and that is 
it's uh, something that you, <laughs> I find, I tell myself, you better be more careful um, and don't let that happen again. I'm sure we'll make mistakes down the road, but uh, that's something I'm conscious about. What are the kind of people you will trust as a leader? Those who have a record of, uh, of public service. You mean in government? Yes. Yeah. To avoid the mistakes, as you said, of your well, father, trusting the wrong people. People who have who have a good record that uh, are uh, are, um, are at the heart are public servants. Those are the people that you trust because they'll never stop working for the people, and that's what's important. And they won't they won't indulge in this petty politics or office office politics, all that kind of thing. Uh, hindi na di-distract dun sa trabaho nila. Yun, pam, yung reliable maasahan mo. You, and you can trust those people. Okay, so let's go to the present. What is the best accomplishment of the Duterte administration and what is its worst mistake? I think the, uh, the build, build, build is, is, a very, very, is still a very, very good idea. Infrastructure development is, should still be a central part of any development program of uh, any country for that matter but certainly for the Philippines kasi malayo pa talaga tayo dun sa ginugusto natin uh, level of infrastructure development uh, so that's that that what they started what the president Duterte started I think was he went down the right road when it came to that uh, the worst mistake perhaps maybe the same as my father he trusted some of the wrong people. And, uh, kuminsan siyang napapasama, kahit wala naman siyang kasalanan, kasi yung mga tao niya, kuminsan, eh, hindi, uh, yung mga na nandyan sa gobyerno, eh, hindi tumutulong. Hindi tumutulong sa bayan, hindi tumutulong sa kanya. Uh, that's, uh, that I think is... Will you be very different from President Duterte? I suppose so. We're very different people. Uh, I imagine, yeah, sure. I imagine that I will be. Uh, eh, kilala ko naman siya, matagal ko na siyang kilala. Eh, pagkakilala ko naman sa sarili ko, parang... Uh, parang hindi ibang kami, ibang personalidad. Eh, hindi, hindi kami magkapareho. Uh, in a good way, maybe. Um, from some of your pronouncements, sa mga naririnig namin, uh, lalo na sa issue ng West Philippine Sea, ang pakiramdam ng iba, you are friendly to China. And so, gusto naming malaman kung ano ang iyong posisyon sa China. Sila ba ay kaaway o kaibigan? Kailangan trato natin sa lahat ay kaibigan. Uh, ngunit, hindi naman ako pumapanig sa isa. Pumapanig ako sa, sa uh, Pilipinas. Yan lang naman ako. Dito, dito lang naman ako interesado dito sa Pilipinas. Meron akong nasabi, meron tinanong sa akin kung magpapatulong ako sa mga Amerikano. I interpreted it as sa negotiations with China. Hihingi ka ba ng tulong sa Amerikano para sa negotiations ng China? At ang aking sinagot ay hindi. The, the problem is between the Philippines and China. However, hindi totoo yun. Ako naman gagawin yun. 